Hello beautiful people, welcome back. Spotting enemies sometimes get tougher because of the weather of your match. No graphic settings will work in this scenario. There are various types of weather that can make it tough for you to spot the enemy. But I personally hate foggy weather, and it really sucks, hit like if you agree. Anyways, so here I'm going to reveal some of the unknown tips that will surely be helpful in spotting the enemies. But before that, I want 800 likes on this video. I hope you will do it. Anyways, to improve your chances of survival, it's crucial to know where your enemies are. You have the possibility of setting up an ambush or playing defense. However, many players have difficulty spotting adversaries. It could be due to their in-game settings or poor strategy. Many will agree that it's vital to spot your enemies before they spot you in PUBG. So, one of the best ways to make sure you're competitive in battlegrounds is to improve how well and how fast you can see your enemies in the game. So point 1. Maintain a low crosshair and swiftly scan the surroundings for little movements on the ground. Peripheral vision is a technique that allows you to shift targets while in-game. Not every player in the game plays aggressively, some prefer to play defensively. Point 2. As your eyes often focus on a particular area on the screen, sometimes you miss enemies on two sides of the screen where you place your fingers. Therefore, PUBG Mobile players need to scan the whole phone screen to ensure that they don't miss any moving subject. For example, when you scout a compound on a wrangle, you should scan broken walls first. Then, focus on windows and doors to check if there are any campers or snipers. Rocks and trees are also favorite covers of players in PUBG Mobile. So, you should check those places too. Point 3. Each player has a unique game sense. And pro players know how to improve and use their game sense wisely to get chicken dinner. It's improved through practice. The more you play, the more experienced you are. Then, you know how others often move. For example, when an enemy enters a two-story house, he is more likely to go upstairs to have a wider view and better angle to shoot. If you miss them at the door, you can aim to the stairways or windows on the second floor to shoot. Point 4. When you wear the right earphones or headphones, you can hear the sound of other players in their directions. If you are close to the enemy enough, you can even hear them step, unlock the grenade, reload bullets, and all their movements to locate them. If they are far from you, you need to locate them by their gun sound and gun flash. Players can also hear the enemy at a medium distance when the enemy runs only. But the volume of the footstep sound lets you know how far the opponent is. Point 5. This method may not be applicable to the majority of players because some may already be aware of it. However, switching to a colorful design will make it simpler to notice foes in the game. I personally use the colorful graphics since the beginning, and it works perfectly fine for me. A lot of PUBG Mobile players don't use this, especially the new players. This helps to scoop onto a target, and it will help you get more intel when keeping a tab on your enemies. You can also keep your crosshair low and quickly scan nearby areas and observe subtle movements on the ground with your peripheral vision. Use this 5 exclusive tips daily to be a master in spotting enemies. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today, thank you so much for watching. Do leave a like and also subscribe if you want to see me again. And now, enjoy my potato gameplay, peace.
Awesome. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! 